Now, the next market type is a new market. Customers don't exist today. That's the real questions are, if they don't exist, how will anybody find out about you and how will they even become aware that they need to be in this new market? And by the way, how do you know the market size of something that doesn't even exist today? The market size is zero. And what factors should you create the, that the industry has never offered? Now, a way to look at this is take a look at the chasm. Man, this is scary. That is, you can sell to the crazy people all you want, the early evangelists, the early adopters, and that's nice, but you'll have a small business until you figure out how do we get the masses to adopt. And here's what that hockey stick sales curve looks like. Here are the early people you're selling to, and one of the mistakes that startups and entrepreneurs and founders make is look at that slope of those early sales. And when you get them, you go, great time to like kick up spending and look at this. Our board's happy, and why don't we start doing advertising and staffing up the company? But then it kind of declines, and people scratch their head going, what's going on? What's going on is the mainstream market just hasn't adopted. And this might go on for years and never kick in, but if you're lucky, you'll hit a tipping point and market adoption happens. And when it happens, it happens faster than you could imagine. But at times, it takes longer to get there than you could imagine. So in a new market, one of the things you need to be thinking about is that, is there any possible way to move this curve in? There's a couple of really interesting things to notice about a new market. One is, this valley of death of almost no sales can continue for years. Now, why is this important to know? Well, just imagine you're a startup and you've put together a nice financial forecast for your board and your investors and they all believe that you are in an existing market. So they're expecting you to have revenue that increases every year. Why? Because you've never asked the question, what type of market am I in? Now, if you're in a new market, you now know that it's quite possible that you might have a curve that doesn't look like this, but actually is flat for a long period of time. 